Seven months after a deadly hit and run took the life of a Bay Area grandfather, St. Pete police have finally made an arrest. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker is live at the scene of that deadly crash. And Justin, you're actually just down the street from the police department right now. That's right, Jen, this intersection just down the street from St. Pete PD. Now, police tell it on your side, 58-year-old Hollis Jesse Headley was walking in this crosswalk when the driver hit and killed him and sped off. Police say damaged car parts left here at the scene and DNA evidence helped lead to this arrest. A Sunday night out in St. Pete back in October turned into heartbreak for the family of 58-year-old Hollis Jesse Heatherly. The husband, father, and grandfather died in a hit and run just days before the birth of a grandchild he never got to meet. It's an incredible loss, an incredible family man, close to his sons, incredibly close with his wife. Um, they had such a beautiful relationship. On Wednesday, police arrested the man they say was behind the wheel of this black sports car that struck the Clearwater man in a crosswalk and sped off. Attorney Jim Magazine is representing the Heatherly family. They are so grateful for the hard work uh, and the dedication of the St. Pete Police Department and the detectives to finally bring this man to justice after this horrible incident. Police charged 31-year-old Danzel Hammonds with leaving the scene of a crash involving death and tampering with evidence. It only took three days for investigators to find his car. They had the benefit of having identifiable parts left at the scene. The arrest affidavit says DNA swab from the car's steering wheel matched the sample from the suspect. I can't tell you how many times, you know, the widow would call me crying because, you know, when she would talk to the detectives and they would tell her that, you know, we have to wait. You know, we're, we're waiting on the DNA. We got to make sure everything's done right. I asked the Heverly family attorney whether he believes Hammond should face a more serious charge, such as vehicular homicide. What they want to do is make sure that they charge him appropriately so that he can get convicted and do the time. They don't want to charge him with something they can't convict him with. And the suspect is already out on bond after being booked into the Pinellas County Jail yesterday. And Jen, the family attorney tells me next week he plans to file a negligent wrongful death civil lawsuit on behalf of the widow. Justin Checker, live for us in St. Pete tonight. Thank you, Justin.